Hello and welcome. I am Zinder, and this is episode 3 of my Minecraft Let's Play. Where we last left off, there was a spider spawner that I was going to turn into a trap. However, I don't remember where that is, and I also realize I need some supplies. As well as I should probably build some kind of workable shelter other than what I've got going at the moment. And I really, really should put stuff in a chest before I end up losing it. I am going to dig out the area for the chest now, and I totally put that in the wrong spot. But that's what happens whenever you're being in a rush and not actually thinking. I don't have a whole lot for materials here, so the makeshift shelter is probably not going to be the prettiest of things. But it will be functional. I just noticed I already have a spot prepared for an infinite water source, which I will need, although not really at the moment. What is this? Okay, that's the exit. So, I suppose I'm going to... Oh. Ah, screw it. You can use it from the inside anyhow. Um, but as I'm sure you've noticed, I'm using a different texture pack. Uh... I'll put a link to this texture pack in the uh, the description for the video, so that way you can use it should you desire. However, it is an HD texture pack and therefore requires an HD texture patch such as Optifine or the uh, Mr. Messiah's MC patcher. With that said, I hope you guys like it. This is probably my favorite texture pack, and like I said before, it's the same, but different. It's the same as the standard texture pack, but it's of a higher detail, and as you can tell, it looks a little bit different, but everything is relatively the same, and, it, and it's really hard to screw up what stuff looks like. And that is not what I was trying to do. I want to make some doors. What's the point of making a makeshift shelter if there's nothing to keep the mobs from ambushing me? So, I'm putting up some doors, and I'm going to need to make some torches. Because I'm sure some of you notice it's not exactly well lit down inside here either. So, it's not a safe place. And... I have eight string. I could make two wool, but that's still not enough for a bed. A ton of gravel. Put that in here. Stash my buckets for the moment. I want to get the the groundwork for the the trap going before I actually do anything. And there's a good chance that I might starve to death, but I'm sure you people have already realized that and are probably going to make fun of me should it happen. But as far as I know, when not playing on, if you're not playing on hard difficulty, it's impossible to die to starvation. So. That's good. Of course, though, it's it's also kind of cheap than not playing on hard. But, as I've said before, I have no plans to use armor to make up for that. And I really have no idea where I found this spider spawner. But if memory serves me, fill in this hole. I came from this direction. And I'm going to guess that this is dark. This is very dark. This is a lot of dark. I think I heard a skeleton. Oh! Yep. I really, really should make some iron stuff. I should go back and at least put the iron smelting. But, but there's more iron. And coal. Always going to need some coal because I'm going to run out of coal between smelting and torches very quickly. Stone pickaxes are so slow. I'm used to using iron. It's not like I'm new to Minecraft, as I'm sure you've guessed. But I'm... You know, starting over, doing a let's play for you guys. But I'm used to using iron tools because iron becomes such a surplus once it gets at a later point. However, to help combat that and keep things a little bit more interesting, I'm going to avoid making a branch mine. Anything I find, including diamonds, is only going to be obtained through caving and digging out stuff in caves. So... I'm probably not going to have too many, but it'll keep things more interesting, because diamond's pretty powerful, and it lasts forever, so it's just kind of like a 
feels like a never-ending tool once you have it. Eat some of this uh, zombie meat. Get some hunger. I'm hungry because I'm eating. A little bit, uh, you know, counterproductive, but what are you going to do? And this green stuff from the hunger flying up in front of my face keeps on making me think I'm seeing a creeper. Because I've had a whole lot of luck finding them, haven't I? Or should I say them finding me? I don't know if I've actually seen any of them before they've seen me, short of that one when I was out journeying, trying to run back to my body after the first death. And, yes. There's probably going to be lots of deaths. Partly because of the fact that when doing commentary, it's a lot harder to hear things. And partly because of the fact of, well, if I was trying really hard, things wouldn't be very amusing, now would they? And, personally, I watch... When I watch a Let's Play, I expect it to be, you know, interesting. I, I don't want things to be boring, just them droning on and constantly just building or... Well, caving's always fun for me to watch. Building can get boring if there's an excessive amount, but... And I know I'm already starting off with a building thing, but I did do a lot of caving to get down here, considering I'm living in a cave at the current moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig out the, the base framework for my trap, or not, because I have no more pickaxe. I'm going to go smelt this iron, and make pickaxes, and swords, and something. Because that's reassuring. I'm going to make something. Well, this is Minecraft. I should hope I'm making something. Be hard to make something instead of nothing. Or, I'm not sure what I just said there. I'm going to agree with myself about whatever I said to myself. Or you guys, really. Um... I am going to just throw ridiculous amounts of iron... Coal? I'm going to throw iron in there, too. That's good, too. But um, Ridiculous amounts of coal in there and not really make a... Uh, make. Uh, give a care if I waste any coal with the amounts, because... I mean, coal's not that hard to come across, so I'm not too worried. And now I have an iron sword that I'm going to put somewhere... Somewhere is a very helpful number. Or, apparently, numbers are locations. I guess technically they are, but that's not what we're getting at here. Whoa. Apparently, I'm at a loss for words today. This is actually two days after my last video. Um, I know there was a day where I didn't upload. That is, if you look at the dates. You know, if you're just joining, you probably wouldn't notice. But... I mean, it, wow, I need to stop and think for a second, such as that I need a pickaxe. Apparently, I'm going to have a lot of them, because like I've said millions of times before, to, you know, stack even more onto the redundancy that I've been told that I do, I'm not making armor, because it makes it too boring. So, instead, I'm just going to make way too many tools. But at least this allows me to make, uh, you know, have plenty of iron tools to start off with. Make things much better for me. Much quicker for you guys, so there's less digging going on that we have to worry about. Here I am digging straight up like an idiot, but... Hey, what do you know? Hit a cave? Drop a creeper on my face? Everybody have a good laugh. Somehow, I don't feel it's going to happen, though, which is actually kind of sad, in my opinion, because it would be really funny, even for me, just to have a creeper spawn on my face. And I need to put some blocks on my bar so I can get up to this coal. I know I'm being silent right now, but I'm running out of things to say, and all I'm doing is digging. Digging to be able to do things for the video, of which I'll be able to talk about when I get to them. Highly descriptive, I know. Apparently that coal patch had more coal. Okay, now that we have some tools again, 
going to ignore that. There's some iron over here. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna see if it's a dead end. Oh, great. It's not a dead end. And there's a ton of coal on the floor. Well, hi there, Mr. Creeper. Don't you just look angry. As you can tell, there's also uh, text pack. I have supports different mob skins, so there's going to be random mob graphics. Keep things a little bit more lively. That angry creeper-faced looking thing was kind of startling at first. It was kind of like, what? Oh, God, a skeleton. I think he has a hat. Oh, God, another creeper. You know what? I'm just going to leave them down there and get back to what I was doing and hope that they don't come try and ambush me and ruin everything. Or so much for getting back to what I was doing because apparently I'm stopping and mining iron and finding another cave. Seriously? More caves? I mean, I know this is Minecraft, but it, it, it's mine, not cavecraft. Uh, no, I really want that iron. Why does this seem very dangerous to me? Thought I heard something walking. It was me walking. Oh, I didn't bring any buckets. But it's cool, because I needed a second source of water. Because I didn't want to go out to the ocean, and that solves it. Because there's that other one I blocked off up before. Uh, I bet this loops around where that skeleton and creeper dropped down. Wouldn't that be fun? I really should be keeping track of how long I'm recording, um, but I'm not. I could look real quick, but I know it's been nowhere near 15 minutes. Destroying my torch. This guy's got a nice little hat. Or something. I didn't get a good look at him. I was too busy trying to kill him, so he didn't kill me. There's just a ton of cave and iron down here. And more water. Okay, this cave system is huge. So we're going to have plenty to explore at the beginning. But I know that there are people that like build videos. So I am going to... You know, make a build video of the uh, spider spawner trap. I'm going to leave this iron for the moment. Worry about that later. Mostly because of the fact that I keep on getting sidetracked and apparently lost. I'm now lost. Inside of a cave, and I haven't been in here very long. And I said I was going to stop mining, but here I am mining again. Just because I saw it and got sidetracked. But it's really funny, because I know that I get sidetracked, and yet, I still do it. I don't stop myself, I just keep doing it. I just don't care, apparently. Gather up all this mossy. I don't really have any planned uses for it, I'm not really sure I like how it looks in this texture pack. I mean, it's okay, but it seems a little bit too bright of a green, that is. Like, I know I like lime green wool, but... The, the color on here isn't lime green, it's funky green. Technical term, of course. Funky green. And here I am, trying to place or mine with uh, torches in my hand. And I am going completely overboard on this, but I don't want anything to spawn on my face. And as if I just found more iron inside of where I'm building this. Now, this drowning trap I'm going to make for these spiders is going to be kind of interesting, to say the least. I think that's all I can really say for it at the moment, is it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm not going to build this to the maximum size, but, I mean, it's going to be decent enough. Partly because I don't want to build new walls, so I'm not going to strip any of that out. And I'm not... Actually, I might have to build this the proper length, at least, just so I don't have to do some crazy stuff with water in order to accomplish my goals. But, um, this should be fairly simple and straightforward. And this needs to go back one more. And then that'll suit my needs. I didn't check the width, but 
I don't really care. Um, I could just make some signs for the, the second sets of water I'm going to do. Which, you'll see what I'm talking about when I get there. Highly inspecific, impossibly boring, but I, I don't want to just give everything away and make you not want to keep watching. Because, well, I want you to keep watching. So, what are you going to do? But, I'm sure you already see what kind of idea I have planned for this. And, this coal's in my way. And there's a lot of it. And now there's iron. I'm never going to get to this trap at this rate. But, it's in my way, and if I don't get it now, I'll never get it. Because, there's a chance that I will never see it after I make the trap. And there is way too much iron down here. This cave is just ripe with iron. But, I'm getting all this iron. I think I actually have more iron now than I do cobble. Which is really, really weird. For those that know things about Minecraft. Normally, that does not happen. But, I'm going to... Fill this in, probably regret it later. Because there's a good chance that I'm going to end up linking into that at some point. I hear a zombie. I don't know if it's... I know it's off that way somewhere, but I don't know exactly where he is. And I'm not really interested in him at the moment. Gravel, gravel, and more gravel. Man, if I ever make a chicken farm of some kind, I'll have all the gravel I need to get the flint to make arrows. Hey, go away, zombie. You know what? I'm just going to kill you with the stone sword. I'm going to keep using that till it runs out. Where did he come from? Oh. Hi there, Mr. Creeper. I'm just going to let you stay there. Because I don't feel like having you blow up my spider spawner. Actually, in all reality, if I'm worried about that, I should kill him. Just so he doesn't. So I'm going to brave the creeper. Something that's worked so well for me in the past. I kind of feel like I'm making these fights very boring whenever I fight something head on and where are you all coming from? Oh god, an enderman. Got some uh, I'm low on food, low on health. And I'm just barely going to get over Yeah, I'm at nine and a half right now. If I'm lucky, I might get fully filled up. Why is there... There's a green thing on that spider's back, if you see that. I'm going to have to... Once spiders spawn them, you have to actually take a look. But, they're not going to be doing that for a little while. I want to get this built. I don't remember the exact distance you have to be from a spawner. Or, well, within, I should say, for it to keep spawning. But... I'm not going to make this go too far down. I think probably right here is going to be all the further I want it to go. And then I'm going to dig out the area around here. Because I'm going to need things to come through here. Another point I never made about lava traps before. Sometimes they'd like to be disagreeable with trying to make them not light up the spawner itself. Even if you do it through walls, sometimes it still provides light and makes things very annoying. So, I'm avoiding that as well by doing it using a drowning trap. I'm not sure if I mentioned this the kind of trap I'm doing before, but now you know if I didn't. But I think I did. And, yeah. Diggy. Diggy, diggy hole. And I take no credit for that statement. I give that credit to the Yogscast. If you don't know about them, you should probably look them up. A couple of Brits. 
The only problem is, is they like to cheat on their videos. They sometimes cannot do an adventure map without cheating. Which can be kind of lame. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing right now, because I apparently have completely forgotten. Oh, okay, I know what I'm doing now. I'm just going to put a little outline here so I know what the hell I'm doing. And I am going to swear periodically. Expect it. Um, I'm going to check how many, or how long I've been recording real quick. So I'll be back in just a minute. This video has been 20 minutes long now, so I'm going to call this uh, good for this episode, and I'll see you again in episode 4.